Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Is Coursera stock a buy right now? Well, in this video, you guys are going to find out. I'm going to hop into the business model of this company. It's in the e-learning space, which is exploding in terms of growth at the moment. I'm going to hop into my valuation and then my buy points for this stock. So you're going to want to stick around all the way to the end of this video, guys. And I think you'll like what I've got for you. Before we hop right in, if you're new around here and you do like these investing tips and deep dive stock analysis, deeper diving than any other YouTuber on YouTube right now into these incredible growth stocks, then feel free to join by hitting that subscribe button, turning that notification bell on. If you do find any value in this video at all, feel free to give it nearly thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the channel. And remember, if you do want to access my entire ultimate investing strategy course, or maybe even join our thriving VIP membership group, you can find out details about those first link in the description below. With that being said, guys, let's dive in. Coursera is the company, ticker symbol C-O-U-R. This company IPO'd in April 2021. And really, it's never good to actually buy on the IPO day because the stock tends to have a lot of exuberance behind it and then pull back, which is what this stock has done. So it actually reached a peak of $58 per share. And now it's pulled back, guys, by around 32%. So this could be a potential buying opportunity. Of course, I'm going to get into a full deep dive valuation a little bit later in this video. Okay, so what's so special about Coursera? Well, this company is in the e-learning space, which is set to explode in the up and coming years. And this is actually accelerated due to the whole global pandemic in 2020. But many universities from across the world were actually restricted from actually having students in their classrooms. So hopping in here, we can see the statistics. E-learning market is surpassed 250 billion in 2020 and is anticipated to grow exponentially at a compound annual growth rate of over 21% between 2021 and 2027. So that's a massive tailwind behind any company in this space. And also there's an acceleration of new technology. So we've got artificial intelligence, we've got virtual reality, we've got many other different technologies which are actually accelerating and making these e-learning platforms a lot more interactive. Okay, so what's so special about Coursera? Well, Coursera is founder-led, which is what I love in companies, and it really is one of my main criteria right now. So it was actually launched by two reputable Stanford professors in 2012, and is now one of the largest online learning platforms in the world. Their mission is to provide universal access to world-class learning. So they partner with over 200 universities. You've got Yale, you've got Wharton, and many, many more, and some leading enterprise institutions such as Google. Hopping in right here, I did realize I have an account with um, Coursera. So this was a, a couple of courses I was looking at from the University of Pennsylvania, and they do tend to have a freemium model. So you can go on, try out a few courses, and then that you have to pay after the free trial ends, or you have to pay if you want a certificate from one of these universities. So it is a good platform, I think, to learn very specific skills, let's say data scientist, data engineer, these high value skills, which are actually growing, and there's really a need for them in our economy. Okay, so what about the backers of this company and do they have skin in the game? And individual insiders own 9.3% of the company, which is what I do like to see, they have skin in the game. Okay, so top shareholders, we have Kleiner Perkins. Now that is one of the leading venture capital firms. These are one of the original investors in Google. And what I did discover here, which is very interesting, I saw this name here, Al Doer. And that basically is John Doer here. And he is the founder of Kleiner Perkins. And he's very selective about which boards he sits on. This guy is an absolute legend when it comes to investing. And he actually refused to sit on Tesla's board when they were going to potentially invest into Tesla. So that was a bad opportunity they missed out on there, but it just shows how selective he is. So he's, of course, he was on the board for Google during the early days and many, many more fantastic companies which we see in our day-to-day -day lives. Kleiner offered 50, a $50 million pre-money, Vantage Point offered 70. Um, I actually said to John Durer that if, if John joins the board, Mm -hmm. We'll do it at 50. John felt that there was that, that he had too many obligations and that uh, there was another partner at Kleiner who who really wanted the deal. So from a qualitative side, I do like to invest with him. But I did spot one major red flag with this company, which was a little bit of a worry. So if hopping in right here to the insider buys and the insider sells. So one of the insiders here has sold $2.8 million worth of shares on the 7th of July 2021 
for around $40 per share. Now, to me, that is a little bit worrying that they're selling such a large amount of shares. However, in April 2021, G Squared Equity Management actually bought $11.5 million worth of shares at $33 per share. So just looking off potential valuation opportunities, that $33 per share could actually be a good buy point for this stock. Just looking at what other equity management firms have actually valued the company at and they think it's a good buy at those levels. Okay, so do the juicy financials stack up for this company? Well, hopping in right here, guys. We're here on my deep dive valuation model and we can see the revenues for this company are pretty small at the moment, only around $328 million. The company is unprofitable at the moment. They're losing around $70 million each and every year. And it doesn't actually seem to be getting better, which is a bit of a worrying sign for this company. Um, the company's debt's okay. They have a good amount of equity, good amount of cash, around $280 million on the balance sheet. Growth rate. Now, this is an interesting one. So the company's previously grown its revenues between 50-60% per year. Generally, I say a growth stock is one which is growing around 20% per year. So 50% is exceptional. Can it continue to grow at that pace? Well, if it could, then the stock is definitely undervalued right now. However, from looking at analyst projections, they're only projecting between 25 and 35% growth for this company. So that's what I've plugged in here for Coursera right now. I get a fair value of $31 per share. And remember that key number I said to take a note of earlier, $33 per share, which is where G squared equity management was actually investing heavy into this company. So I think around $31 to $33 per share is a good level to definitely load up the truck on this company. So this is not financial advice, guys. This is just my buy point for this company. Now, the stock's currently trading at 38. So it is a little bit above that at the moment, around 20% higher than my fair value point. Maybe if you're more bullish on this company and you think it can continue growing, at 50% per year, as it did in the previous years, then maybe you wish to buy it at these levels. It is down 30% from its highs. Personally, I already have some exposure in this space to a value play, which is basically does the exact same thing. Now, that company doesn't have as many reputable backers, but the company's called 2U. ARK invest has invested heavily into them. They have a price of sales looking backwards of just four, whereas Coursera has a price sales looking backwards of 16. So it's a lot better valuation. They're making a lot more revenue. Their margins are a lot better. So that's why I have an investment into 2U. And my position's up around 20%, I believe, at the moment, 20 30%. So it's not been a bad investment so far. I did cover it on this channel a while back. Also, speaking of eLearn, if you do want to access an exceptional course, my ultimate investing strategy course, which I'll link to first link in the description below. There you get access to 12 units, 12 investing units. I've studied all the greatest investors of all time from Warren Buffett, all the greatest hedge fund strategies, and I've compiled them together in this course. And no, guys, this is not some $1,000 course. It's not some $2,000 course. This is not some $100,000 MBA, which these universities will charge you for any amount of actually education, which is usually irrelevant by the time you finish university. This, it works out really, if you pitch the annual plan, it works out about 20 pounds a month, around $30 per month. Extremely reasonable cost for the amount of value you get. And that's not all. You also get access to my entire stock research platform. Over 46 stocks with my full valuation and buy points. You can also access my advanced valuation model and of course our thriving VIP membership group. So personally guys, this is an extreme amount of value. And if I knew what was in this course, maybe a few years back, I'd easily, easily be a multimillionaire right now. And this is no hype, this is no BS guys. If I had this information in crystal clear clarity, the same as it's presented, inside the stock research platform, then believe me, it would allow you to get major gains in the market. So if you do want to sign up or you're just curious, why not check out that first link in the description below if you do want to step up your investing game and potentially become financially free in your lifestyle. With that being said, either way, guys, I hope you all have an incredible day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.